In project approach selection, three team members were biased to maintain the predictive approach, while the other team members wanted to use Agile. It was recommended to them to apply critical thinking. Why did they need to apply critical thinking? Select three answers. A. In critical thinking, you need to research and gather unbiased, well-balanced information. B. In critical thinking, you do not need to analyze data and evidence to evaluate arguments and perspectives. C. In critical thinking, you need to identify bias, unstated assumptions, and values. D. In critical thinking, you need to apply inductive, deductive, and abductive reasoning appropriately. Let us see the answer. A. In critical thinking, you need to research and gather unbiased, well-balanced information. Correct. B. In critical thinking, you do not need to analyze data and evidence to evaluate arguments and perspectives. Incorrect. C. In critical thinking, you need to identify bias, unstated assumptions, and values. Correct. D. In critical thinking, you need to apply inductive, deductive, and abductive reasoning appropriately. Correct. Critical thinking. Throughout the various project performance domains, there is a need to recognize bias, identify the root cause of problems, and consider challenging issues, such as ambiguity, complexity, and so forth. Critical thinking includes disciplined, rational, logical, evidence-based thinking. It requires an open mind and the ability to analyze objectively. Critical thinking, especially when applied to discovery, can include conceptual imagination, insight, and intuition. It can also include reflective thinking and metacognition, thinking about thinking and being aware of one's awareness. Project team members apply critical thinking to research and gather unbiased, well-balanced information. Recognize, analyze, and resolve problems. Identify bias, unstated assumptions, and values. Discern the use of language and the influence on oneself and others. Analyze data and evidence to evaluate arguments and perspectives. Observe events to identify patterns and relationships. Apply inductive, deductive, and abductive reasoning appropriately, and identify and articulate false premises, false analogy, emotional appeals, and other faulty logic. If you like this video, you can subscribe, turn on the bell, share it, like it, and write comments so that this channel can provide more videos.